sentinels breaking into your homes, then back out on the street the next day. Residents want it stopped, and today area leaders say the county's justice system is just part of the problem. Just today, bond granted for the suspects accused of breaking into cars, stealing remotes, and then breaking into homes in the Providence Country Club area. If Javario Miller posts $51,000, he'll be put on an electronic ankle monitor and set free. Live now in the newsroom, Michelle Bowden has details on what one local leader is proposing. Well, they want to form a task force to figure out how guys like this, who have a rap sheet like this, can still be on the street because just today he was served with more arrest warrants and is now a suspect in a string of recent home break-ins. At first, I didn't really believe it. Didn't believe that a career criminal had apparently struck in his neighborhood. It happened about 10 o'clock in the morning. Dontavius Mills arrested for kicking in the door, stealing computers and cash at one condo, a suspect in break-ins at the two next door. It definitely makes me feel uncomfortable, especially that someone with that that type of background is still out walking around on the street. Barely out of his teens, police know Mills well, have known him for years, everything from breaking and entering to assault on a woman and resisting a public officer. Sounds like he's a little troubled. Justice is obviously not working. That's County Commission Chair Jennifer Roberts. The average citizen feels like they're less safe. She wants to form a task force. We're going to try to end that revolving door on a number of levels. She says that means keeping violent offenders in prison and getting drug offenders and mental health patients out of jail and into rehab. We need to work better. Carrying concealed weapon again. All this guy wants is for Dontavious Mills and criminals like him to be in jail instead of in these condos. Now, the county commission chair says this task force is a priority and should be finalized in the next month or so. As for Mills, he was arrested just this afternoon on more break-ins. He was already in jail because he was arrested Friday on some other crimes, and he's a suspect in still other break-ins in the South Charlotte area. Live now in the newsroom, Michelle Bowden, Carolina's News Connection.